morning students we have read this chapter till here till here we have read that you know that sadao and hana they are all set to operate uh, this white man so let's read further but when she went back into the room she saw this was useless the blood had already soaked through the packing uh, in the man's wound and had ruined the mat under him oh the mat she cried yes it is ruined uh, sadao replied as though he did not care help me turn him he commanded her so what happened uh, earlier we have read that you know that uh, here uh, uh, in this point hana was very much worried about the mats and the lilens and uh, all those things but uh, she had brought some mats from the uh, garden area but when she reached the room she said that you know that uh, uh, now these mats are useless because already that blood has soaked into the uh, through the packings of the man into the you know quilts into the bed sheets and everything and now she couldn't do anything and she cried she just you know cried that you know that oh the mat then sadao just uh, you know asked very casually as they are ruined that you have to help me just to turn him so what she did she obeyed him without a word and he began to wash the man's back carefully you may would not wash him she said did you wash him then sadao asked not stopping for a moment his swift concise movements yes she said so they were discussing that you know that sadao uh, uh, she obeyed she did everything and then she told him that you know that you may did not wash him so then sadao asked that, have you washed him she said that yes i have washed him because she just refused that she is not going to do that thing for them so then what happened he did not seem to hear her but she was used to used to his absorption when uh, he was at work she wondered for a moment uh, if it mattered to him that was the body upon which he worked as so long as it was for the work he did so excellently you will have to give the anesthetic if he needs it he said i she repeated blankly but never have i it is easy enough uh he said impatiently so what the in this paragraph you know um, uh, sadao is just uh, busy in operating the uh, operation you can see this in this picture and then you know but uh, she was standing there she knew that he is all totally absorbed in his work he and uh, she wonder she was thinking that you know for a moment that it didn't matter for sadao that on whom on which person he is uh operating which person he is operating on he is operating the person who is enemy for the country and uh, they have found just found this man this is a prisoner or whatever he is so it doesn't matter for him right now why because uh, this person is just a patient for him and he is doing his best to uh make him uh, to make that operation work well so and then sadao suddenly says to her told her that you know that you have to give him anesthetic anesthesia if he need it and then uh, hana was very much blank at that time because she has never done this before she said that i she he said that yes it is easy enough that it is very easy for you you can do it impatiently because he was very impatient there he is doing that operation and he couldn't risk anything because it will be very life threatening for that person so then He was taking out the packing now and the blood began to flow more quickly he peered into the wound with the bright surgeon's light fastened on his forehead the bullet is still there he said with cool interest now i wonder how did the, how deep this rock wound is if it is not too deep it may be that i can get the bullet but the bleeding is not superficial i he has lost much blood so now he in this uh, paragraph he is just telling the Uh, you know the particular uh, situation or the condition of the uh, patient uh, right now and he is telling this to hana he knew that hana doesn't know anything about it but he has to tell it anyway because so that he can uh, you know ease out his own pressure so he tell that you know that that uh, he took that pack, uh, packing out and blood began to flow because he has done the packing of that wound and that with his uh, you know surgical light that is there this is called this is the surgical light which is there so with this surgical light he just you know uh, uh, looked into the wound with very calmness with very uh, super, uh, super calmness and he he just saw that you know that bullet is still there and he said that very coolly that you know if there is no this wound is not so much deep then he would be able to uh, take out that bullet all bullet although he has lost so many of the blood and uh, he has lost all the blood but he has to do it anyway he has to take out that bullet in order to make that person live so he is just telling these all uh, informations to hana and then at this moment hana choked he looked up and saw her face the color of sulfur and don't faint he said sharply he did not put down his exploring instrument if i stop now the man will surely die she clapped her hands too so you can see that she is feeling here very intoxicated but she has never uh, seen these thing uh, like the, that 
and this he she got choked she was not able to see anything and her color just changed like a sulfur and then you know uh, sadao looked at her he said her that you know do not faint do not do this and you know that he has you have to be very strong here and he could not um, put his um, that exploring instrument which he is having in his hand he could not put it down because uh, if he stopped somewhere the person would die he told that to hana that you have to uh, be my support so do not faint here so then she clasped her hand to uh, to her mouth and leaped up and ran out of the room outside in the garden he heard her retching but he went on with his work it will be better for her to empty her stomach he thought he had forgotten that of course she had never seen an operation but her distress and her inability to go to her at once made him impatient and irritable with this man who lay like dead under the knife so what happened she had never seen any operation so uh, so she just went out and she start retching there in the garden retching means she was puking there uh, she was vomiting there because she has never seen uh, the thing like this and uh, now sadao is thinking about her that, that it is better for her she is having a empty stomach so that she can bear all these things and she really want to and he really want to go to her because he could not go because he was just stuck there with that person and this thing is making her more impatient and irritable that he is performing an operation on this dead man who is lying like a dead in under his knife so he was very much impatient there because of the situations around the uh, around his uh, surrounding so that is why operation sar done in operation theaters because this is very crucial and this is very life threatening things which are done in very utter concentration so what happened this man he thought there is no reason under heaven why he should live unconsciously this thought made him breathless and he proceeded swiftly in his dream the man moaned but sadao paid no heed except to mutter at him groan he muttered groan if you like i am not doing this for my own pleasure in fact i do not know why i am doing so he is just thinking about this man that he thought that you know that there is no reason for this man to live that he is just a prisoner he is an enemy for his country and he do not have any right to live but still he is doing this and when he was just you know uh, doing this operation so this man moaned moaned means groan he just you know groan in pain he just cried in a pain and he said that you know uh, sadao said that yes you if you want to moan you can cry you can uh, uh, you know cry in the uh, pain i am not doing this for me i am doing this for you and i really do not know that why i am doing so he is doing it because of his out of his profession okay but he was not so um, confident about it because they, he is having this dilemma all the time in his mind that what he is doing that how he would perform his next duty as a uh, you know good citizen to his country so he really do not know but he is doing the best which he could do for this man and then the door opened and there was hana again where is the anesthetic she asked in a clear voice sadao mentioned with his chin it is as well that you came back you came back he said this fellow is beginning to stir she had the bottle and some cotton in her hand but how shall i do it she said simply stretch her the cotton and um, uh, saturate sorry simply saturate the cotton and hold it near his nostrils sadao replied without delaying for one moment that intricate detail of his work when he breathes badly move it away a little so that's how she is going to Uh, give anesthesia to him so she said she now she was clear headed she had some confidence she knows that she has to do it for uh, uh, sadao so she just came again and um, ha- uh, sadao was happy to see her and then she asked for anesthesia and uh, sadao told her whole of the process how she is going to do it so uh, she has done it for sadao only because she knows that you know he is also in fix he is doing his duty as a doctor he has to perform his duty so she is going to help him no matter what So till here we are going to read, read this chapter carefully. It is easy in understanding, understand it well, and underline the minute uh, information there that will help you to make MCQs for this chapter.